Greetings, I'm Secretary of the Navy Carlos del Toro. Eighty years ago, America was deeply entrenched in the Second World War. The nation mobilized its industrial might and American spirit to back the war effort and support our service members fighting overseas. Port Chicago Naval Magazine, approximately 25 miles from San Francisco, California, served as a critical role in supporting combat operations in the Pacific Theater. On the evening of July 17, 1944, Munitions being loaded onto the steamship E.A. Bryan detonated, killing 320 sailors, Coast Guardsmen, civilians, and others, and injuring an additional 390 individuals. Over 200 of these fallen heroes were African American sailors. Many of their bodies regretfully tore to pieces because of the explosion. 258 surviving sailors, traumatized by the blast, unsafe working conditions, lack of training, and even fearful for their lives, were charged with refusing to continue loading munitions under said conditions. This act was known as the Port Chicago Mutiny. Then, as now, every sailor serving at the Port Chicago Naval Magazine had chosen to serve, but the subsequent general and special courts martial labeled 258 of these sailors as criminals. But as determined by my office of general counsel, these courts martial contain significant legal errors that rendered them fundamentally unfair. Yet, for 80 years, the unjust decisions endured. Now, I am writing a tremendous wrong which has haunted so many for so long. As Secretary of the Navy, I have made the decision inherent within my authorities dating to the laws of the time to set aside the courts martial results of all sailors convicted as part of the Port Chicago incident. This decision clears their names, restores their honor, and acknowledges the courage they displayed in the face of immense danger. But this action is about more than just correcting a historical record. It is a resounding affirmation of the values that we as Americans hold dear. Justice, equality, and the right to a safe workplace. The Port Chicago 50 and the hundreds who stood with them may not be with us today, but their story lives on, a testament to the enduring power of courage and the unwavering pursuit of justice. May the story of Port Chicago serve as a permanent reminder of the power of collective action, the importance of historical truth, and the enduring promise of a more just America. Today we celebrate a long-awaited victory for justice itself. Thank you to all who have fought, served, and sacrificed in our long and storied history of defending freedom around the world, and to all the families who served and sacrificed along them. May this action today bring peace of mind to you and your loved ones. Thank you.